Hello and welcome. If you, like so many other makers, have lots and lots of these lying around now with practically no purpose, we are going to show you one really cool thing that you can do with these today, so stay tuned. Hello and welcome. Today I am showing you how to assemble my firework pinwheel bearing assembly. Many makers have hundreds of these now lying around from the recent fidget spinner craze, and so I've decided to do something really cool with them. Pinwheels always come with this useless piece of hardware here, this nail, which is great. These things are awesome. They're really cheap, um, they're pretty entertaining, except that this thing creates way too much friction. So we want to get rid of that, and we now have these bearings, which are great for reducing friction. So what we're going to do is create this flange, or build this flange. To get started, you're going to need these four parts available from Thingiverse in the link from the description below. So go ahead and download these. You're also going to need a few bits of M3 hardware, probably an assortment depending on your level of comfort. You're also going to need a pinwheel and, of course, a 608 bearing. Now, I've already pressed this thing in here. My printer, for whatever reason, printed this hole just a little bit oblong, and so it didn't quite fit, so I've gone ahead and pressed that in with a vise. Do that however makes you feel comfortable. There are a couple of retention methods. The first one, and easiest one, being this little hole right here. We can go ahead and put a screw right in the side here and just thread it into the plastic. Now, in theory, we shouldn't have a whole lot of force on this thing. The problem is going to come not so much from the force, but from the vibrations. As this thing spins, these aren't particularly well balanced, as I'm sure you can imagine. So we want to just go ahead and lock that down. Now, depending on your level of comfort, you can go ahead and leave it there, or there is this retaining ring that will also help out. And you can put this retaining ring on there if you feel like it. It is, as they say, your life to lose. So go ahead and decide your level of comfort right now. If you decide you would like to put that on there, then you're going to need a few other bits of M3 hardware. I'm just, for the sake of time, going to go ahead and put two little bits on there. So you're just going to go ahead and thread these directly into the plastic. So that this, this cap can't come off and it helps retain this bearing. Then go ahead and put these two caps, one on each side of the bearing, inside the middle race, just like this. And then you'll take your pinwheel and put a piece of M3 hardware straight through it. Go ahead and screw it down. And then once again, thread it directly into the plastic of these nuts on the back side. So now we have a flange with some holes in it that we can mount to a fence post or some other piece of hardware. You can even run zip ties through there and zip tie it to a pipe or something similar. We have a screw running through the middle of our bearing with a locking nut on the back side. If you'd like, you can even make this screw a little bit longer and put a washer and a nut directly on the back side of this. It is, as they say, your life to lose. So you can do whatever makes you feel comfortable. We also have a locking disc here that holds that bearing inside of the flange. We have a locking screw that holds that, in, that bearing into the flange as well. And we, of course, have our spinning pinwheel on the bearing, which should now be able to spin freely. I would love to be able to tell you that this has been tested and is perfectly safe. However, this has never been tested before, and I have no idea if it's safe or not. So use this at your own risk, or don't use it at all if you are in the least bit worried, because you use this at your own risk, and I retain no liability whatsoever for whatever you decide to do with this. So thanks for watching, and enjoy, and be safe!